One of the problems I always hear podcasters talking about is trying to grow their podcast. I want to grow my audience. I want to have more exposure. I want more people to hear my show. But the question really becomes, do you want to grow your audience for the sake of growing your audience and having more impact? Or do you really want to grow your audience so that you can get to the bag? Hmm. Hmm. I know. I know. Anyway, in this episode, I'm going to talk to you about ultimately how to find your podcast audience. Let's get into the intro. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with Jonathan Jones. Here you will learn how to start, launch, and monetize your podcast. In addition to hearing the latest trends and the latest and greatest things happening in the podcast industry. Are you ready? What's going on, family? It's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show. And I'm glad that you're here today, right? I'm glad that you're here I'm excited for us to be able to talk about what's the one thing that plagues all podcasters. Maybe not all, but the majority is uh, how to find my podcast audience, right? How to find my audience. And I'm going to be honest with you. First and foremost, the way to find your audience would be getting more connected into a community of podcasters. John, why should I get more connected into a community of podcasters? You want to get more connected into a community of podcasters because podcasting is like its own world. I kid you not, okay? Going to a podcast movement, getting ready to speak at Afros and Audio uh, Podcast Festival, spoke at Podfest Expo, It's just a total different world, and I love it. But even outside of that, the majority of people who listen to podcasts listen to about seven podcasts. So it would make sense for you to get connected with podcasters and get more ingrained into the community because if you're more connected with podcasters, you already know they listen to podcasts. So you're not trying to get them to do something that they don't do. You're ultimately just helping direct them to your show. Okay. Good deal. Good deal. Good deal. Now we got that out the way. When it comes to identifying truly the audience, right? We have to get really clear. John, but how do I get really clear? So we go from the audience being hundreds of people to being teenagers, to being teen mothers, to being uh, nesting parents, to being a single parent dad. We go and we turn that and narrow it down to one person. We make an audience of one. And the reason I say that is because you want to get to the space to where You're talking to one person, and by focusing on that one person, what's this one person's problem right now? What's this one person's issue? And when you focus on one person, who I like to call the avatar, your client avatar, your listener avatar, if you focus on helping that one person solve one problem, one by one by one, then ultimately it's going to help you successfully navigate in building your audience because your message is going to resonate with that one person. And then the other people who are in similar spaces in their life and in their journey, like that individual, they're going to come along on the journey. So we want to narrow down our audience to being an audience of one. Okay, so that's the first thing on us identifying our podcast audience. Then the next thing is. We want to figure out. What is that one person's pain point? Right. So after we've got the audience of one, we've nurtured that person, nurtured that person. Now I want to think. What's what's your pain point, sir? 
What's your pain point, ma'am? For me, right? For me, and I, and I always go back and I look at it because uh, the clients that I currently have in my mastermind, I have about four young ladies who are different. They range in different ages. They're all entrepreneurs. And then on the other side, I have uh, a gentleman who's a college graduate. I have an older gentleman who's a, a basketball coach and a former pastor. So looking at this group, they have a variety of pain points. But the biggest pain point that they all had was wanting to start a podcast successfully. And realizing that, that's why I started this podcast called Your Podcast Mentor. Started the Your Podcast Mentor show. To help the person who's wanting to start, who's wanting to launch, and who's wanting to grow their show. If I get even more niche down, the individual that I'm seeking to serve and support, his name, we're going to call him, we're going to call him Billy. And one thing that Billy wants to do, Billy's a speaker, right? Billy wants to speak at places. He wants to speak at colleges. He wants to speak at corporations. But Billy is having trouble building his credibility. So a pain point for Billy is, how can I build my credibility? And of course, as fast as possible. So therefore, when I share this content, this is going to be for Billy. Helping Billy navigate through building his credibility through a podcast. Helping Billy navigate through leveraging that podcast content to then turn to trust. So build up the credibility, then let that credibility turn to crust, trust, not crust, trust. And then ultimately help him monetize that message okay so we got to figure out what's the pain point that that person was struggling with or is struggling with mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you got to figure out what do they want more than anything else what does your audience want more than anything else i was speaking with a consultant earlier today her name is michelle green uh, shout out to Michelle with uh, the Michelle Green's School of Lighting, right? Um, and one thing that I've wanted was I've wanted to get some lights put up in the back, right? I wanted to get some lighting on my back, get it dim and, you know, really bring out the color and really make it pop to make my studio really, really go off. And I'm going to change it within the next few weeks for my friends that are watching on YouTube. And after talking with Michelle, she helped me realize that by me doing the lighting back there, that's going to help me elevate my brand. So therefore, the thing that I want more than ever right now is I want to elevate my brand so that when it comes time for me rolling out my high-end product, it's no question of should i pay this fee for john the question is oh john's done this john's done that john has a great professional presence back there with his lighting oh yeah i'm gonna pay the fee i'm gonna pay the fee so you have to identify what your target avatar wants more than anything you have to identify what's the pain point of your target avatar what keeps them up late at night? What's the one thing they're like, oh, I'm so upset. I'm so frustrated. God, I can't do this. I can't, I can't code for my website. God, I don't know how to, uh, I don't know how to paint the wall in a way to where I won't leave streaks. Oh, I don't know how to pressure wash my driveway. What's the one thing that your avatar needs? What's the one problem your avatar needs you to solve? Ooh. Once you figure that out and then you fill in that gap, now they're going to keep coming back. Filling in that gap with your content and you're adding value and you're showing your expertise, they're going to keep coming back. And when they keep coming back, they're eventually going to be looking for a way to get more of you, to work with you closer, to get more of your content 
to get more access to you. And that's when there's a potential opportunity for you to make a decision. Do you want to create a program? Do you want to have a mentorship? Or do you just want to continue to give value on your podcast, which is fine. Um, but why, why be selfish and why not allow them the opportunity to go to the next level with you? And then the last thing, I'm going to give you a little bonus point. And the bonus point is right here. You must know your avatar in order to serve your avatar. If you don't know them, how can you provide what they want? And you certainly can't provide what they need. So I want you just to begin to think, how well do I know my avatar? Ask yourself these questions. These are some questions to consider, okay? Questions to consider to really find your avatar. Where does my avatar hang out? Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter. I want you to begin to ask yourself, where is my where is my avatar from? Are they from the North region? The Northeast where it's really cold? Are they from the far West? The Midwest, the down South? Because if you know where that person is, then you can refer to them with a certain language. People in the Northeast typically wear Timberlands and they go play basketball at the Rucker. <laughs> well, maybe not at the Rucker, but that's something that they're known for up north, well, Northeast. Then on the West Coast, they're known for earthquakes. They're known for the Lakers. They're known for Hollywood. They're known for Rodeo Drive. The West and the East, both coasts are expensive to live on. Especially if we're talking, uh, if we're talking uh, Northeast. They're expensive to live there. However, but they create two totally different experiences. And that's the same question I have for you. How old is your avatar? If they're in between 18 and 25, they're trying to get out of college. They're just trying to survive. If they're 55 to 70, they're trying to make sure that their kid's good, the family's good, their will's in place. What are the concerns that your avatar has? What's something that your avatar is in need of right now? Because that then opens up the aspect when we talk about monetization. Because the podcast listener who's 18 to 25 more than likely is eating out a lot, more than likely is hitting happy hour, more than likely is going to do a lot of fast food versus the avatar who's 50 to 75. They're typically going to be more aware of their weight, probably more aware of their money, right? So they might be looking, hey, let me find some places to where I can see about investing my money. Yes, 18 to 25 year olds invest as well, too. But we just want to know where our avatar falls on the age spectrum to ultimately be able to determine what we should be presenting them with. So I hope this episode has added value to you. If you're watching on YouTube, comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you took away, because I would just love to know if this has been beneficial to you. If you aren't subscribed to the YouTube channel, I'm going to drop a link in the show notes. But it's just Jonathan Jones Speaks dash your podcast mentor on YouTube. And before we get out of here, I want to make sure that you know you can always connect with us on the website, jonathanjonespeaks.com forward slash mentor. We might be updating that website here in a little bit. So the website is going to be in the show notes. Just know that much. And then also, if you have any questions, go to the website. Whichever one I have in the show notes, it might be Jonathan Jones speaks dash mentor forward slash mentor. And then we have a voicemail feature down at the bottom. Click that orange microphone or that orange button and then leave your voicemail asking your question. Because I want to answer your questions. I want to make sure that I'm helpful to you right now where you are in your podcasting journey. All right. So, family. 
until next time all right until next time let me give you the recap how do you find your podcast audience you shrink it from being an audience to being an individual Ooh, that was good so shrink from going an audience to an individual then you have to know what's the pain points what's keeping them up at night what are they needing a solution for right then we go what is it that they want right now more than anything else what is it what is it and then in order to serve your avatar well you must know your avatar in order to truly serve your avatar until next time family it's jonathan jones your podcast mentor and i'm here to help you start to help you launch and to monetize your podcast all right so until next time it's jonathan jones peace and god bless <laughs>